Hello everyone and welcome to my Saturday. You know, I was gonna film lunch and then I forgot. It was so good. What is up everyone? It is Saturday. Just having a nice little lunch out at this place. It's basically called uh, like J Japanese food street because like along this street there are so many Japanese restaurants. Like there's at least six or seven just with on like on one block. And then it just keeps going. It's a really nice area of Chengdu within the first ring road. I really like it. Uh, besides just walking around and talking about my day and showing you everything, I do want to talk about a couple of things. But one of the things is teaching in China. Like I figure, you know, I keep looking at all these other YouTubers here and they all seem to have a niche. They have something that they're really, really good at, something they bring to the table that's different from other YouTubers. And I figure mine seems to be teaching because I just don't see a lot of stuff about teaching on other vloggers' channels. So I'm probably going to be redirecting the focus of my channel towards teaching more. And of course, you'll still have topical stuff and I'll do food every once in a while. And yeah, like I, I would like to do more teaching stuff. So if you're interested in that, please let me know. I may even create a new channel about that. I just, you know, I'm, I'm not sure yet. It's one of the things I'm contemplating. Well, this seems interesting. I wonder what's going on in here. That's kind of cool. Huh. Okay, so it seems there's some kind of uh, significance to this area. You can see on the sign yourself, yeah. Huh, that's cool. I like the uh, I like the style here. It's a pretty cool style. I mean, it's obviously been rebuilt uh, pretty recently. Oh, this apparently is like a hotel. Some of the others like a tea house. There's a kitchen. And there's a little hotel there. Oh, huh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, this is my first time being here. I'm just walking down trying to find stuff to talk about in a video and I stumbled on something new. <laughs> I love stumbling upon I love stumbling upon new kind of places like this. This is very interesting. I had no idea that this was here. What do you think? Creepy? Not creepy. Ooh. So why were we at Tampa Square? Well, we were coming here, and that's the closest place. Now, why here? Because my wife got a job working here, and she'd been at the job all of six days before they said, hey, we don't need you anymore. Huh? Like, they just hired her. They just hired her, and they're going to close this shop, and so they don't need her anymore. But why would you hire somebody if you're pretty sure you're going to close the shop? Like if you close the shop six days after you just hire somebody, it just seems like a stupid idea. <laughs> this is just, it's ridiculous. I, I don't know. I just think it's, it's really, really funny. So, uh, yeah, the boss of this place, you need to get your together. <laughs> talk about is something I actually need your help with, something you can do to help me if you live in China or if you know someone who lives in China. Or well, actually now that I think about it, anyone can help me. I have this huge project in mind, like it is massive. And I'm essentially going to be making a documentary about foreigners in China, foreigners all over China, different backgrounds and nationalities, races, genders, jobs, etc., etc. Like, what is the foreigner experience in China like? Kind of like what me and Winston and Seamoke and Snarky and just freaking everyone who does you know, videos here in China, what we do already, we tell people what China is like, but I'm gonna do it on a massive scale. What I need from you guys is if you live in China, I really would love it if you could write me an email at letchinasleep at gmail.com. And in the email, write your name, tell me where you're from, how long you've been in China, what you're doing in China. And then after that, 
I'll get back to you. I'll get back to every single one who emails me uh, because this is something I really want to do. It doesn't matter if you're a YouTuber, not a YouTuber, black, white, brown, yellow, whatever the heck, you know, let me know. Now, I may not include every single person, but I will respond to every person and we'll talk and figure this out because I have lots of questions for you all. I'll do interviews with you. I'll ask you to film a few clips for me, send them in, tell me your thoughts about this or this while you're here in China, and we'll talk about it. But this is a massive project, so it's gonna take many, many months for me to put all of this together, and it's gonna eventually be a series. It'll be like a, a, like a short documentary series, like every episode, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes each episode, and I'm gonna just keep putting them out. Um, until I'm essentially done. I've got roughly 15 episodes already kind of uh, written out. Like, I know what questions I'm gonna ask, I know how it's gonna go, I just need your help. Now, for those of you who are not in China, here's how you can help me. No, I'm not gonna ask for your money. There's no Kickstarter, nothing. What I need you to do is, if there's anything you've ever wanted to ask a foreigner living in China, you know, as far as like something they could be introspective about things about the way they think, the ways that they've changed or stuff like that. If there's anything that you've ever wanted to ask a foreigner that I could maybe use in an interview with someone here, leave that comment down below. Or you can also email me if you have a bunch of questions. I think that would be a great way for you guys to directly influence the, the documentary. Yeah, that's fantastic. I'm so excited about this project but it's also very daunting. I'm hoping to get around maybe 40 different foreigners, maybe 40 to 50 different foreigners involved, you know, from all different parts of this country. So please, please let me know. If you know someone, share this video with them and see if you can get them to contact me. I would love it. Thank you all so much for your love and support over all these years. It's been awesome. Okay, so yeah, this will be the next big thing. Now, I'll still be making videos in the meantime, but this is what I'm really going to be thinking about as I'm posting these other videos. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Whew. feels good to finally say that. I've been thinking about this for a while. I actually filmed my first interviews for this documentary like two years ago, uh, three years ago, uh, and I totally forgot about it until very, very recently. So, hmm, let's see what happens, all right? See you all next time.